Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Jeffrey. On this personal channel, I create content around technology in the VMware ecosystem. Now, today's video is made possible by my good friends over at Vembu. Vembu is a backup and disaster recovery provider and their flagship product is BDR Suite. I recently published a blog post about their uh, GA release of version 5.3. In the coming weeks, I will be releasing some videos where I'll give you guys a bit of a tour and a quick overview on some of the new features. Today, we are going to take a look at the new feature for uh, for endpoints so making backups of clients it's a fairly simple uh, solution in the way that it's set up it's a typical agent based slash client server solution i will show you in the management console how to download a client how to deploy it how to create a backup and all the options that we have there and ultimately how we can do a restore so without further ado let's hop over to the home lab now this is the main management console of bdr suite I'm logged on to my Windows server, which is my management host. And let's log on to the console right now. Now, before we dive into endpoint protection, maybe it's good to also take a brief look at the different additions that BDR Suite offers. As you can see here, I'm currently running a 30 day trial, which is actually expired. So I need to, need to uh, hit up my friends at Vembu for a uh, renewal of my NFR license. But as you can see here, it's an enterprise edition. They have also a standard edition and even a free edition, which is pretty awesome, right? If you look at all the capabilities and support in the free edition, that's pretty uh, extensive. Of course, it's limited in terms of number of endpoints, number of objects um, I'll include a link to to the free edition overview where you can exactly see uh, what's included and what's not all right here we go so it will start the BDR client and will open up the web console so the BDR client also comes with its own web console its own management console so let's log in here for also now first thing we need to do is connect my client to my BDR suite server. I'm just using IP addresses instead of DNS names. So this is the IP address of my Windows management host that is running BDR suite server. Let's make sure it connects. There we go. Configured, edit successfully. So we now need to configure our backup job. So configure backup. I'll just make a simple files and folder backup just for demonstration purposes. So it will do an inventory of all the files and folders and let's create a backup of the download folder, for example. So the downloads folder, here you'll see we have the client installation file, the MSI and a install logs folder. So let's back that up, go to next. Now here you have all your different options for scheduling the job. It has all the typical stuff that you um, that you uh, will expect. So run it every uh, so many hours, run it on a daily schedule, a weekly schedule. You can even do continuous incremental backups or a uh, run once job. I'll just leave it at the default for this uh, for this demo. So we can configure the retention. How many versions do you want to save? Um, for deleted files on Windows only. Uh, good to know you can also back up your Mac clients. Important feature, I guess. And let's make this a bit bigger. Uh, we have the option of doing encryption and we can just going to keep this sweet and simple. Just make it a test job, save it. All right, that's it. Now let's go over to my, uh, let's run it now and see if this works okay. Now this might take a couple of minutes to complete and to sync with the um, with the server. But once that's completed, um, if we go to, uh, so I'm now going, you know, this is the, virtual machine remote console. So this is my Windows server. So the client screen, and this is back to my management host. This is the management server. So I'm back in the management console of BDR suite server. So let's go to data, data sources and let's see if we can already see our client popping up. There we go. So it's identifiable. Uh, it's a file backup version is uh, displayed here. And as you can see here, there's size is zero. So the backup job is still running in the background. I'll give it a couple of minutes and pause the video here uh, or speed it up. And then we'll try to do a bit of a restore. All right, as you can see, we have now a completed backup in here with just over 268 megabytes of data. Seems about right. Now let's try to do a recovery. So we'll go to recovery. We'll go to our test job. We'll do a restore. It's a file level recovery. Here we can choose exactly which version. We obviously have just a single restore point because we only did uh, one backup job up till now. Let's go to the options and here you can see the data included in the backup. So this should be the downloads folder. There we go. Now let's say that this 
small log file that, that got deleted or corrupted or whatever, and we want to restore it. Now here we can choose the download restore location. Now it's good to know that this is a file level restore. So this is the local folder on my BDR Suite server. So it will not do a restore inside of the backup source. So inside of the Windows VM, it's good to know. Um, so we'll just restore it in the temp folder so we can inspect it, validate it, and then copy it back over to the original uh, virtual machine. Now just a uh, summary screen. Let's do the restore. And this should be fairly quick because it's a, uh, it's a very small file. So it started successfully and I think it's already completed. So let's take a look at the C temp folder. And there you go, the file. This is from my previous test. So I think this is the correct folder now. Administrator downloads, so logs, and there we go. We have the, uh, the original file restored. I can now copy this, paste it inside of my, um, my original virtual machine. I can do anything I want with it. So I think you get the hang of it. Short and simple, right? It is, but don't underestimate the importance of creating solid backups of your endpoints, especially with the big shift going on in the industry of end user computing. You know, where, you know, a couple of years ago, a lot of companies were running VDI environments with uh, almost stateless VDI desktops. So that means that almost no data was being stored inside of the VDI. This was all done on file shares and so on. Um, now the big shift towards modern management where endpoints like MacBooks and Windows laptops are being managed by UEM solutions, more and more data is being stored locally again on the endpoints. So it's so important to have a solution in place where you can backup and restore, ultimately protect the data that's being stored on these on these endpoints. So I think this is a really valuable addition to BDR Suite. Uh, go check out their website, download the trial, download the free edition. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button, and hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching.